everybody. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. I've missed you. I took a couple months off. We did a crazy home renovation. I have a full-time job at Home and Family. In addition to the home renovation, in addition to my kids, finding time to shoot was just impossible. So we decided to uh, take away the pressure and just give myself a little bit of a break. But now we're done. If you didn't get a chance to see that major before and after transformation, I have that video. I just released it, you know, it's, it's on the channel. So you can head over there and take a look at it. It's pretty awesome. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. But today we are back in it, regular DIY designer content coming. And today's a really cool one. I am going to be making shattered glass heels. Now, I don't have a photo of an inspiration to show you because this is just a idea out of my own brain. This is the finished product and I'm gonna show you how to make these today. Once I show you how to make them, you can obviously put anything on the back of your heels that you want. I made these heels three years ago and not a single gem has fallen off. I wear them all the time. They are the shoes that I get the most compliments on, hands down of anything I've ever made. They're just a showstopper. So, you can use any broken jewelry, extra things that you have lying around. You can make a mosaic kind of like I did today. There's a particular product that you need, but I just want you to know this is not a sponsored video. This is just happens to be the product that really makes this thing work. Um, it's foolproof, it's absolutely incredible. So let's just get started right away with our materials. stuff you saw in the material shot, it's called Sagru. Now, what's cool about it is it's actually a moldable glue. So it starts off almost like Play-Doh and then it will harden up. I think it says like after 24 hours or something, um, it takes, and then it, it will be fully hardened up. But somehow it still stays flexible, which is the key here. If you imagine something like a clay, if you were to mold it while it was soft and then press all of your, whatever, your glass, your charms, whatever you want inside, it'll harden and that's great. But then when you walk and the vibrations and the impact of you walking, it's gonna start to crack and just pop right off your heel. So something about the fact that this is continues to be flexible and it's a moldable glue that hardens, it absorbs all the shock of every one of your steps, even on concrete. So the shoes that I've had, like I said, I've had for years and no, nothing's ever come out of them because I, I don't know. I mean, if you can think of anything else to use for this, go for it. This is absolutely what I recommend. Um, and like I said, this is not sponsored at all. It's just the only product I'll use for this. So now I'm gonna open them up because it comes like the size of a piece of gum and we need quite a few. So now let's open them. First thing you're gonna do is cut open all of the packets. The directions will show you exactly how you need to cut it open, but basically it's three of the sides and then it just peels right open. Pull all of the different sheets of them on and you're gonna mold them into one big flat piece. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you do wanna get it as big and wide kind of as you can there. Now lay it right on top of your heel and start pushing it into place. It's gonna have excess that's gonna go over the edge and that's totally fine because we're gonna be able to clean it up in just a second. Take a butter knife and run that edge along the bottom of the heel. It is a incredibly satisfying moment. You're just gonna slice off any of that excess, but make sure to save it because it's gonna help you fill in all the gaps as you move. This is totally optional, but you can take a glass and kind of smooth out any fingerprints that you have. Now take your glass tiles and start pressing them into place. You wanna work with the very edges at first because that's where things need to look really crisp right along that edge. You can work with smaller, odder pieces as you get toward the center of the heel. It takes a second to find a perfect match, but there's so many different shapes and sizes that you'll really be able to do it. Try to use a finger that doesn't have a lot of the sagru on it to push it down, otherwise you're just gonna get black gunk all over the tiles. Now this is really important. You wanna make smaller pieces because you're gonna need some tiny ones to fill in the gaps. So just take a paper towel and smash a couple of tiles with like a meat mallet. Super satisfying when you get the right fit. Now we're finishing up the end and you can see I've got the perfect piece to finish up that last one. It's super satisfying. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other shoe, obviously, to give myself a matching set. Now go in and wipe them clean. Make sure that there's no fingerprints or sagru residue anywhere. Come on, look at these bad boys. They are so gorgeous and sparkly and happy. I can't believe um, how cool they came out. You know that if you saw someone wearing these on the street, you would instantly stop them and ask them where they got them. But just remember, when you guys do this at home, you can put absolutely anything in. I hope that you guys liked this one. I'm so happy to be back. Thank you very much for sticking with me. And I can't wait for you guys to see next week's episode. Thanks, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye guys.